Hi everybody, this is Monica with Scraps of Treasure. I wanted to show you guys this flower that I made here for my Tuesday tutorial. This is the first one I'm, that I'm actually doing. And this is a flower that I made out of like a sheer, kind of like an organza type material. And then I just added this little button to it. It's kind of like um, those Prima flowers that they make, but then they have like the little beads around it and the buttons, similar to that. But what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of fabric here. You're going to cut it into a square. And all I did was I folded it in half like this. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to cut it. And I cut it and kind of made a little bit. You know, you can kind of make the edges a little funky. You can do a little like sort of scallops. But I kind of made like big wavy lines or whatever. I'm just going to cut it just like that. And this is what you're going to basically end up with. And it's just a funny little kind of circle, but it's got a bunch of little funky cuts to it. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut it up. Oops, I'm off the camera here. You're going to cut it up in the middle right here. And then you're just going to start folding it over, but you're going to fold it over half. You know, like an accordion type fold. You just fold it over. You're just going to fold it over and fold it over. You just fold it over again and fold it over. Just like this. And this is what you're going to end up with. And then what you can do, you can actually sew this together, but I just glue it because it's a lot faster. So you're just going to take your glue gun and kind of put some glue like right in the middle there. Just like that. And then I just sort of pull it together there so that it kind of sticks. And this is what you're going to end up with. This sort of funky looking little thing. And all you're going to do is what I did was I punched out um, with my Stampin' Up! Punch a... You can use a circle. I just had the scallop and this is what I use. And you're going to glue these onto the paper just like this. So what you'll be doing is you'll be going here and then I glued four so that I knew it was in a perfect circle. So you're going to do another one here. You're going to glue another one there and another one there until the whole card is filled up and it's going to end up looking like this. And then what I did was I... Um, punched out another piece of circle here so that you can put this on the bottom. That way you can add the glue or the adhesive here. And then that's it. Simple. And you can use this as a button here, but you can put just about anything you can possibly think of in the middle of it. So whatever it is you choose. And for the edges, you can even, I don't know if you wanted to make your edges zigzaggy, you could do that. But a simple simple flower that's easy to make and it's really pretty and of course the smaller you cut your pieces the smaller your flower will be my pieces were kind of big as you can tell from this piece here this probably measures about let's see yeah so this is about two inches right here this measures about two inches so if you make it smaller your flower is going to end up being smaller and this is your simple Tuesday tutorial from Scraps of Treasure.